Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel to a new prediction, the third one for this 2021 season. It's been a long time since I last recorded voiceover, so I'm back. You know, the ADP Cup is a different tournament from all the rest, so why not making a different prediction as well? Alright, so this year's ADP Cup will be a bit different from what it was last year due to the current pandemic and coronavirus thing. Um, it will be played by 12 teams instead of 24 as it was last season. The winner of each of the four groups will advance to the semi-finals and then the two winners of the semi-finals will of course play the final and then we'll have the champion. In Group A we've got Serbia, Germany and Canada. In Group B we have Spain, Greece and Australia. Group C is formed by Austria, Italy and France. And finally, in Group D, we have Russia, Argentina, and Japan. By the way, Japan has qualified to this year's ADP Cup thanks to Kei Nishikori's protected ranking. I mean, you may be wondering why Japan is competing if they don't have any player ranked in the top 20 or top 30. Well, it's because of Kei Nishikori's protected ranking. He's got an, a number 10 in the world protected ranking, if I'm not wrong. So uh, that was enough to qualify Team Japan for this year's ADP Cup and they will be joining Argentina and Russia in Group D. Alright, having said this, let's get started with the group's prediction. Alright, so let's start by Group A, which is in my opinion the tightest. Um, we've got Team Serbia, who's got Djokovic. Um, that is certainly a big advantage. I mean, Djokovic is a player to beat at the moment, without a doubt. Um, and he's got Dusan Lajevic and Filip Krajinovic on his back. Um, I mean, they won last year. Uh, I did not see them winning at all, but Lajevic played a couple of unreal matches. Um, yeah, hats off to him. Um, yeah, his level, his level coming from last season is not the best. Um, his season ending was not good. But this year they bring Krajinovic, who's had a pretty solid uh, end of the 2020 season. So, I mean, that's a pretty solid lineup uh, with Djokovic and I'd say Krajinovic, but we'll have to see what happens. Um, and yeah, I really think, I mean, Djokovic can defeat both uh, Shapovalov and Zverev, uh, even though there could be some surprise there, but I really don't see either Shapovalov nor Zverev defeating Novak. And then I, I think that Krajinovic can defeat John Leonard Straff because um, Straff is a particularly uh, irregular player. And uh, then with Raonic, we'll have to see what is his level like this start of the season. Because, um, I mean, last year when tennis resumed, he showed a pretty strong uh, level. He made the final in Cincinnati, losing to Djokovic. Uh, on a match which he could have won but um, yeah in my opinion it will be Serbia who will make it through this group even though there could be surprises and I actually wouldn't be surprised if maybe Team Canada made it or even Team Germany I mean Germany's got a pretty solid double pair with Andres Mies and Kevin Krawitz so I mean, it could be for anyone, uh, that's why I'm saying it's the tightest group, but I'm sticking with Team Serbia, which is a little bit uh, the safe option. But uh, yeah, I really think it will be them who will advance to the semifinals. All right, time to go with Group B right now. We've got Spain with Nadal, Bautista Good, Carreño Busta and Granoliers, all pretty known players. Then we've got Greece, who has Tsitsipas, and then three young players with Pervo Larakis, Carlo Velonis, and Petro Tsitsipas, Stefano's brother. And finally, we've got Australia with the Demon, Alex Deminor, John Milman, John Pierce, and Luke Saville. In my opinion, here there's no doubt it would be Spain. I mean, they've got Nadal and Bautista Good. I mean, it's probably the, the most solid uh, lineup. There. I mean, Nadal is Nadal, and we all know what he's capable of. And Bautista Good is just so good. I mean, I really like how he plays. He's just uh, so regular. Uh, yeah, I mean, Nadal uh, is probably gonna defeat uh, Sitsipas and the Demon. Uh, I really don't see the Demon defeating Nadal. Sitsipas good, maybe, 
but then Bautista would, I mean, should defeat both Purple Arakis and uh, Milman. And then uh, in case in case Tsitsipas defeated Nadal, then uh, Spain should win the doubles. I mean, they've got Granollers who's a, a doubles specialist, and I mean, Carreño boost a good play, or even Rafa. So yeah, Spain is my pick for Group B. Again, going a little bit safe, but I'm I'm even more sure than I was with than I am actually with Group A. Uh, I really think Spain will will play the semifinals here. On to Group C now. We've got first of all Team Austria, whose star is of course Dominic Team, who will be joined by Denis Novak, Philip Oswald, and Tristan Samuel Weisborn. I really don't know who that is, I'm sorry, my apologies if you're watching this. Uh, then we've got Team Italy with Matteo Berrettini, Fabio Fognini, Simone Bolelli and Andrea Vavasori. And finally we've got Team France with Gael Monfils, Benoit Perre, Nicolas Mayut and Edouard Roger Bazelon. This is for sure the most uh, the weakest group maybe or the most irregular, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, teams got advantage over Berrettini and Monfils. I mean, Monfils had a terrible year last year, but I really think he'll be able to bounce back this season. I mean, we all know what he's capable of. Um, but yeah, I mean, Tim should win his two points, but then Denis Novak, I mean, Fonini should be able to defeat him and uh, Benoit Per, if he's concentrated and in a good mood, let's say, should be able to defeat him as well. France got a pretty solid double spare, uh, like Germany had. Um, I mean, they have Roger Vasselin and Nicola Mayut, so that's uh, a point for them, most probably. I mean, they should defeat whatever double spare Team Austria or Team Italy come up with, even though Italy Scott Bolelli, for example, who's a double specialist. Um, it's gonna be pretty tight, I mean, this one is gonna be pretty tight, but I'm gonna stick with uh, Team France to advance to the semifinals. I mean, that's a guess, actually. That is uh, a bit risky, you know? I went safe in the first two. I'm risking it a little bit more here, but I really think uh, Gael uh, will be back to, to what we're used from him, I mean, to his good level. And uh, I think Per is gonna is gonna do a, a good job as well. I mean, it's the start of the season, so he should be motivated. And uh, yeah, in my opinion, it will be Team France joining Serbia and Spain in the semi-finals. Okay, so finally made it to Group D, where we have Team Russia, uh, represented by Medvedev, Rublev, Karatsev, and Donskoy. We've got Team Argentina with Schwarzman, Pella, Ceballos and Gonzalez. And we've got Team Japan with Nishikori, Nishioka, McLellan and Matsui. In my opinion, I mean, this is a pretty obvious uh, guess. Uh, I mean, Team Rush is just too strong. I mean, Medvedev, Rublev, world number four, world number eight. Um, they're not even bringing in Kachanov. Uh, I mean, his played last year, didn't do that well, but he was there. Um, this, this year they're bringing Rublev, so it's kind of a switch. Uh, they're kind of switching uh, Kachanov for Rublev. I mean, both Rublev and Medvedev uh, are playing such good tennis. So, I mean, Medvedev should defeat Schwarzman easily, as he's done uh, the last couple matches they played in hard courts. I mean, they even played in the ADP Cup last year, which was, was, it was kind of a tight match, uh, but finally Medvedev won and I really think his level is pretty pretty superior to Schwarzman uh, in hard courts. And Nishikori, I mean, I really don't know what to expect from him. I mean, he's barely played in the last two seasons. I mean, he's been very unlucky with, with injuries and that stuff. I really wish him the very best because I know he's a great player. I really like him on court, but uh, I don't really think he will defeat Daniel Medvedev. I mean, I mean, he's in quarantine indeed. Uh, same story for Guido Pella. I mean, they arrived to Australia in one of the flights with positive COVID cases, so they're quarantining right now. They haven't been able to practice, so I mean, they will arrive in, in worse conditions than the rest of the players. So, 
yeah, that is something to take into account. Uh, but then, yeah, we've got Medvedev, then Rublev, uh, who I think should defeat both Bella and Nishioka. So, I mean, I'm not even analyzing the doubles. Uh, probably Argentina's got the, the best doubles pair there with uh, Ceballos and Gonzalez, uh, pretty solid. But um, yeah, I think Medvedev and Rublev will defeat both Schwarzman and Pella, and, uh, and yeah, Team Japan as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm going with Team Russia for the last semi-final spot. Okay, so we've made it to the semi-finals, we've got our four semi-finalists, but there's a problem because I don't know what the semi-final matchups are going to be. Uh, I read somewhere, uh, not official, that uh, it should be Group A, I mean winner of Group A versus winner of Group D, and then winner of Group B versus winner of Group C. But I repeat, it is not official, I'm not sure, I could not find anything from the ADP Tour. Um, I mean, they could actually do whatever. I mean, they could do, I mean, the best group winner against the worst group winner, and then the two of the middle. Uh, yeah, they can come up with something strange like that. And in that case, I mean, it would be kind of difficult to predict because, I mean, I would have to take into account, you know, uh, games, sets, uh, and it would be a bit complicated, you know, so. Uh, I'm gonna do it uh, this way, you know, winner of Group A against winner of Group D and then the winners of Group C and B in the other semi-final. Uh, I really don't know if that's okay, but, you know, after all this is a prediction, so let's go ahead with that and, uh, yeah, we'll just see uh, what it really is like when the, when the tournament gets started or at least when the ADP gives some official information, but as I said. All right, so let's pair up the winners of Group A, Serbia, and the winners of Group D, Russia, in the first semi-final. Um, this will be a very tight uh, matchup uh, encounter, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, Serbia's got Djokovic, who, as I said, is a difference. Uh, but, I mean, Medvedev has played a couple of very close matches with Novak. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if Medvedev defeated Djokovic. Anyway, I'm gonna take into account, uh, I mean, I'm gonna consider Djokovic winning against Medvedev. But then we have Rublev, and Rublev should defeat both uh, Krajinovic and Lajovic. I mean, again, it's gonna be his first tournament of the season. We gotta see uh, what his level is like, but if we take into account his year end, I mean, his season ending last year, I mean, that was massive. So, I mean, yeah, Rulof should defeat any of those two guys. So we would have to, to decide in the doubles. Uh, I mean, probably Djokovic would play the doubles with, I would say, Krajinovic or maybe Kasic, I really don't know. And then uh, Russia, I really don't know who could play for Russia. I mean, they've got Karat 7, Donskoy, but none of them is really a, a doubles player. So it's going to be pretty tight. I mean, I'm tempted to say Team Russia. I mean, because Medvedev could easily upset Djokovic as well. Uh, I mean, in the doubles, then actually anything can happen because it's not as, as predictable as, as the singles matches, you know. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Team Russia. You know, I'm really tempted to say that. Uh, I'm gonna stick with Daniel Medvedev defeating Djokovic, then Rublev uh, defeating either Lajovic or Krajinovic. And if Djokovic manages to to defeat Medvedev, then I'm gonna be supporting Team Russia in the doubles. Anyway, I mean, of course, it would not be a surprise if Team Serbia won this because they they are the favorites. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with an upset. I'm gonna go. With I'm gonna go with Team Russia for the final. Okay, now it's time to go with the second semi-final. Winner of Group B, Team Spain, against winner of Group C, Team France. In my opinion, this is not as tight as the other semi-final. Indeed, it's pretty obvious. I mean, I'm going with Team Spain uh, to the final. I mean, I'm gonna do it quite short here. Uh, I mean, Nadal should defeat uh, Monfils. Bautista Ragut should defeat Per. Uh, I mean, they're both so solid. Uh, I mean, I really like the, the team Spain has. 
Uh, I mean, also Carreño Busta could play and, in my opinion, defeat Per as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think Spain uh, should have any issues uh, to win this. If for, if for whatever reason they had to play the doubles, then the advantage would be for France because they have Mayut and Roger Vasselin. They're both great doubles players. But Spain's got uh, Granoliers and Carreño Busta or even Nadal. And I mean, as I've said, doubles is just so unpredictable that anything could happen there. But uh, I don't really think uh, that will be necessary. I believe that with the two singles matches, uh, Spain will be able to make it through to the, to the final against Team Russia. Okay, so finally there were two. We've got Team Russia against Team Spain in the 2021 ADP Cup Final. In my opinion, these two are the best two teams in the competition. I mean, no matter if they play the final or not, I mean, after all, this is a prediction and we don't really know what the semi-final matchups are gonna be like. And, and we don't even know if the teams are gonna make it through the group stages. I mean, in this kind of competition, anything can happen, right? But I mean, no matter what happens in the real ADP Cup, in my opinion, these two teams are the strongest ones and the best ones. Um, I mean, Nadal versus Medvedev, Bautista Ragut versus Rublev, I mean, just imagine that final, I mean, two super tight matches. Um, yeah, I mean, last time out Medvedev defeated Nadal, we all know how Rafa is. Uh, I mean, he'll be back and he'll want to defeat Medvedev if if he has the chance to play him. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Rafa there. Uh, just because of his instinct, you know. Uh, but I mean, it wouldn't call my attention if Medvedev defeated him once again. Um, but yeah, I'm sticking with Rafa in that match. But then we have Bautista good against Rublev. I mean, Rublev defeated him last year in Hamburg. Uh, then he went on to win the title, but it was clay. Uh, Hardcore, it's uh, yeah, I mean, tighter, I would say. Uh, yeah, my pick would be Rublev, but I mean, I like Bautista a good so much. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Rublev, and I mean, in the doubles, uh, I really believe Spain's got the advantage with Granollers and probably Nadal. I mean, if they had to decide the ADP Cup in, in that doubles point, probably Rafa would step in the court and play with Marcel Granollers against. Uh, I really don't know uh, what the Russian pair would be. I mean, but uh, yeah. I mean, I, I really think Spain are gonna gonna get the win uh, and be the 2021 ADP Cup champions. They lost the final last year, so this year, in my opinion, will be their turn. But I mean, it could be for anyone. I mean, Team Russia in the final. I mean, if that final happens, anything could happen there. I mean, Medvedev could defeat Nadal, Rublev could defeat Bautista Agut, which is what I predicted. And then in the doubles, you know. Uh, team Russia could defeat Team Spain as well. I mean, it's just so unpredictable. But uh, yeah, I'm sticking with Team Spain for the win. Uh, I mean, then we got Team Serbia out in the semifinals, who could make the the finals well, and then the the scenario would be different. You know, so many speculations. Uh, it's such a, a great competition. The the ADP Cup is so entertaining. Uh, don't really know if there are going to be fans this year because. The atmosphere with, with fans was just something else. I mean, so different to, to other tournaments. Uh, in my opinion, it was a, a really good move by the ADP to, to hold this, this competition. Uh, it's really interesting and uh, I really hope uh, it stays in the calendar for, for a long time. Anyway, guys, uh, this is the end of my prediction for the 2021 ADP Cup. A pretty long video probably the longest I've ever made in the channel but I mean it is not scripted as you can notice I'm just making the prediction uh, on the way uh, so yeah it's actually nice to do this to, to do it this way I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, subscribe for more of this content you can check the older predictions in the channel they're not like this one they're different they're shorter and you'll not have to be listening to me um i'll be back as soon as we have another draw probably it's gonna be for the 280p 250s to be played in melbourne so uh, that is gonna be in a couple weeks time um, 
and then of course for the Australian Open and all the further tournaments. Thank you very very much for watching if you've made it to the end. Uh, yeah, really appreciate your support. Uh, consider subscribing if you don't want to miss future predictions. And all right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, thanks a lot once again, and uh, stay safe. On to the next one.